You're watching Fox 17 News. The Palisades nuclear power plant wants to make an addition, announcing plans for two small modular reactors, or SMRs, at the site of its Lakeshore facility in Van Buren County. Now, the company that owns this now closed plant, Holtec International, is already trying to make history as no nuclear plant has ever reopened after having its fuel removed. Now, these other two reactors are a somewhat separate operation, but they too would set a new industry standard. The industry's really moved in this direction. Able to be built on site or in a factory. Then really you can deploy it anywhere in any conditions. Able to be installed in a smaller area or on different types of terrain. Really being able to bring these reactors to where the power needs are and help both industries and communities. The two small modular reactors would be able to power a combined 600,000 homes. The technology, a water pressurized reactor, isn't necessarily new. But its size and portability would be the first of its kind in America, and it's something that Holtec has been working on since 2011. SMRs are safe. Um, I would say uh, in some ways they will be safer because we've one thing this industry does is they learn from uh, kind of anything in the past. Nuclear power is probably the safest industry in the world. Their critic, a nonprofit called Beyond Nuclear, says something different about both the partially decommissioned plant and the planned reactors. It's a nuclear nightmare, radioactive roller coaster ride, but it's going to turn into radioactive Russian roulette on the Lake Michigan shoreline. By midnight tonight, Kevin Camps says Beyond Nuclear will file with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to keep Holtec from bringing the plant back online. Holtec has never built an atomic reactor. Holtec has never operated an atomic reactor. This is a lot of... Uh, learning curve for Holtec. And Holtec has a really bad record. We will challenge them at every turn on the old reactor and on the new reactors. Right now, the energy company needs federal approval and federal money for the facility. If they receive it, they plan to restart the plant in 2025 and submit construction plans for the small reactors in 2026. I think it's something that, you know, quite frankly, you know, I think not just the nation, but the world needs to help uh, meet our climate goals and ensure safe power for future generations. Now, in my interview with Beyond Nuclear, they also mentioned a concern about nuclear waste disposal. The nonprofit claimed that Holtec planned to ship these materials from Palisades up through Lake Michigan and into the port of Muskegon, and that from which point they would then be loaded onto trucks and driven to New Mexico, where Holtec has a storage facility. Now, the energy company denied those claims and said that sort of thing is really left up to the Department of Energy. For now in studio, Sam Lanstra, Fox 17 News.